Euro 2016 has finished and Portugal in the end proved to be worthy champions and Edder, if I've got his name right, scored the goal of the tournament right in the second period of extra time. I was thinking who got the goal of the tournament, couldn't decide from, of course, the first one, of course, had to be Mr. Poyet, of course, Shakira's overhead kick, Modric for Croatia in their first match, but Edor with that winning goal for Portugal skipped past two French players, then boom, a shot out of nothing, good goal. And you can have goal of the tournament as it won the European Championships for Portugal. My word, did they defend. Superb defending, zonal marking and man marking. They got it spot on. France just couldn't get through that stubborn defence. And when Giniac hit the post, France knew, nah, they just couldn't do it. Unlucky France, but... Portugal did well. Okay, in the group stages, Portugal didn't look good. Sort of fairly tight against Croatia. Didn't give Croatia a chance to play. They got through 1-0. Then against Poland, it was Cristiano Ronaldo threw on goal. And he missed. For a player of Cristiano Ronaldo's stature, he should have buried that goal. And it shouldn't have gone to extra time. It should have been Portugal winning it in the last few minutes of that game. Andy Townsend did say Cristiano Ronaldo was a hard shot and all that. And I was thinking Andy Townsend, he was not a hard shot. Cristiano Ronaldo missed one of the easiest chances of the Euros. And let's face facts it, Cristiano Ronaldo was pretty poor in the whole tournament and of course they won that on penalties in the semi-final Christian Ronaldo actually scored the goal bit of a missed shot but set up the second goal and Wales were lucky to lose that Wales had, were missing some players but it was Portugal who got the better rub of the green in the second half and went through and other, like I said Portugal went on the win Euro 2016 without Christian Ronaldo who got injured very early on in that game but what I will give Christian Ronaldo credit for is the way he spurred his team on kept getting behind them he actually looked like he was the coach otherwise Christian Ronaldo was not very good in that tournament but they nothing away from Portugal they were worthy winners in the end play of the tournament well he was the top scorer in the end so let's give it to Antonio Griezmann of France top scorer unbelievable player he was unbelievable I suppose you could give it to Poyet second best player Gareth Bell and a few other players you know you could give it to but I think they were the three most outstanding players. Team of the tournament. That is going difficult. Wales or Iceland? Well, we're going to give it to Wales because they got to the semi final. But for performance of the tournament, we'll give that to Iceland. A no one expected Iceland, well, no one expected Wales to do anything. Two dark horses. So we'll give Wales the team of the tournament and performance of the tournament give it to Iceland the smallest country in the tournament they can have it game of the tournament for me was Germany v Italy tactical battle the, the tactics were superb fascinating to watch for 120 minutes Boateng I can still vision he wants to fly higher than an eagle. He wants to fly high into the sky. I'm Irish, the Westlife song. Boating, you should be flying without wings. It was you could have knocked your team out of the tournament. Putting your hands up like that when the corner comes in. 
you're lucky. At last time when he took his penalty, he was like, Bunting, if you miss this, oh, but give him, give it, give him credit. All the pressure was on him. He knew it. If he missed this, the German supports and fans be like, oh, you even missed the penalty. But he gave a penalty away, but he buried his penalty. And Germany, of course, won on penalties. But my word, they missed a few, didn't they? That, but that was an incredible penalty shootout. So, that's it. England were useless. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Absolutely hopeless. For the worst team of the tournament, mm, I'm going to give it to Austria. You see why I've given it to Austria? Dark horses were expected to be the team to watch out for. Nah, they were hopelessly rubbish. Uh, the biggest joke of the tournament has got to be Russia. Old team, nothing to offer. They were horrendous. Worst tactics, the worst tactics I've seen. No tactics, clueless tactics. Worst tactics of the whole tournament. England! I had to give us an award. Roy Hodgson can also have the award for the worst manager of the tournament. No, let's face it, Hodgson, as I said, he got it correct for 45 minutes against Wales in the second half. Then you change the whole team around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, someone got to tell Roy Hodgson, uh, we haven't actually won the group. Why are you changing the team? And then Iceland, uh, you know, it's there were schoolboy errors like the passing wasn't correct. <laughs> it was, but the second half, I just I actually enjoyed. It. I thought it was so funny. You know, it's like we've lost. We have lost this game. I knew it. I think you all knew it. It's two one to Iceland, and we ain't coming back. <laughs> Yeah, I did say some in that comedy, France have only got a bye. But I'm going to give France perfect performance against Iceland. They did the job in the first half. But Iceland never gave up, scored two goals. Lost 5-2, but as I said, Iceland for me, performance of the tournament. I gave well to team of the tournament. The performance of the tournament was Little Iceland. Worst player of the tournament... It's got to be Cristiano Ronaldo. So much was expected of him to shine in this tournament, and he never did. And, and that old question, who's better, Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi? Well, what we've seen in the tournament, Gareth Bell has definitely proven himself in this tournament. Griezmann is up there. Now watch out for Poyet. Yeah, that'll do. I've enjoyed doing the live streaming. I'll be doing that more next season. Can't wait for the new season to begin. And that's it. If you got any comments who you thought were the worst and the best, leave them below. Or anything you disagree with me, just leave those comments below. You know, you're going to throw the thumbs it up or thumbs it down. I don't know. But I'm going to leave the video there and say, I've said what I've had to say, it's getting long enough. Don't know how much time I've used, but I uh, that's my video on Euro 2016, which I'm going to say was an absolute pleasure to watch. I've enjoyed it, and the tournament changes. All formats going to change for the next tournament. I don't know where that's going to be, but I uh, that's the way it goes. I've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching my video and all my live streams. For now, it's goodbye, and see you later.